Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense, right here on the YouTube channel of the same name. My name is S.L. Rockfish, and today we're going to do a lesson in Halloween vocabulary. Ooh. Yeah, Halloween vocabulary, words you need to know if you want to talk about the season that in the United States, we go crazy about it. Come on! Our first word is costume. Say it with me. Costume. Your turn. Great. Costume. What is a costume? A costume is an outfit people wear to dress up as someone or something else. These people are wearing costumes. Do you like to wear a costume for Halloween? Do you? Our next vocabulary term is trick or treat. Trick or treat, this word is often confused with Halloween. We use them sometimes synonymously, but trick or treat is a Halloween tradition where children go from house to house asking for candy. They ring the doorbell, ding, ding, and they say trick or treat, and they expect a candy from the person answering the door. I love to take the kids out for trick or treat. They wear their costumes, I hope. You will see our next vocabulary term in a lot of strange places. Many people make a jack-o'-lantern. A jack-o'-lantern? Yes, a jack-o'-lantern. Why not a jill-o'-lantern? I don't know, it's just a jack-o'-lantern. A jack-o'-lantern is a hollowed out pumpkin that has a carved face with a candle inside. You put the candle right inside so it illuminates or lights up the scary pumpkin face. So they don't all have to be scary. I carved a scary jack-o'-lantern and put it on the step. Do you like to make jack-o'-lanterns? You do? Do you like to make scary jack-o'-lanterns or happy jack-o'-lanterns? Hmm? Here's our next vocabulary word, a witch. A witch. Short I sound, witch. What's a witch? A witch is a woman who practices magic, usually dark magic, and they are usually depicted in black clothes, a pointy hat, while riding a broomstick. There are good witches and bad witches on Halloween. They are all bad. What? Yeah, for the most part, people don't dress up as good witches on Halloween. They dress up as evil witches. Ooh. Do you believe in ghosts? Ghosts. Yes, it's our next vocabulary word. G-H-O-S-T. Ghost. Ghost. It's a hard G with a long O. Ghost. The spirit of a dead person, often depicted as a white floating figure. I hope I never see a real ghost. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you? Ghosts and witches can live in a haunted house. A haunted house. Say it with me. Haunted house. What's a haunted house? A haunted house is a building or a house, usually a house, that ghosts and evil spirits inhabit. They live there, and it's often used as a Halloween attraction. In the United States, people pay money to go into a haunted house. Do you believe in haunted houses? Hmm? In the movies, bad things always happen in the haunted house. Crazy! Would you go into a haunted house? Would you pay money to go into a haunted house? You might see one of these in a haunted house walking around. What is it? It's a skeleton. 
skeleton. Say it with me. Skeleton. It's a short E at the first E. Skeleton. And the second E makes the uh sound because of the schwa. And the T-O makes a T-I sound. So skeleton. Skeleton. The bones that form the human body, often a scary symbol of Halloween. Many people decorate with skeletons. Skeletons. Some people will pronounce it skeleton, but no, it's skeleton. Got it? Do you have a skeleton in your closet? <gasps> no. What does that mean? Go back and find that video. A zombie. What? That is a zombie. Z-O-M-B-I-E. Zombie. Zombie. What's a zombie? Can you say it? Zombie. You try it. Zombie. The emphasis is on the first uh, syllable. Zombie. A zombie is the walking dead, often shown as slow-moving flesh eaters. Zombies come back from the dead and need to eat humans to survive. Zombies. Have you seen zombies in the movies and on TV? You have? It's a great way to dress up for the Halloween season. Dress as a zombie. It's an easy costume. Look at this large black pot. It's a cauldron. Can you say it? Cauldron. 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 What's a cauldron? A cauldron is a large metal pot used for boiling and cooking witches' spells. Witches use a cauldron to make their spells. Cauldron. It's tricky to pronounce. What is the witch brewing in her cauldron. Ooh, I hope it's not a spell for me. Look at that little guy. He's a goblin. Goblin. Can you say it? Goblin. What's a goblin? A small mischievous creature that likes to cause trouble. A goblin. They come in all shapes and sizes. Children often dress as goblins on Halloween. Goblins do not use this vocabulary word. No, no. This is usually used by witches and wizards. What is the word? It looks like it should be pronounced wand, but no, no, my friends. We pronounce it wand. Wand. What? You can't really hear the D at the end. It's not a hard D. So we say wand. Wand. What's a wand? A small or a slender magical tool used by wizards and witches. Witches and wizards use their wands to cast spells. They put a spell on you with their wand. Say it again, wand. Got it? Why does it we pronounce it wand and not wand? I don't know. It we just do. The next vocabulary word are two. It's a two for one. The first word is pronounced cemetery. 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 Or if you have trouble pronouncing cemetery, you can say graveyard. A graveyard? Yeah, a cemetery and a graveyard. They both mean the same thing. It's a place where the dead are buried, often used as an eerie scene for Halloween. You know, nothing good happens in the cemetery or the graveyard. Don't go in the cemetery or graveyard at night. No, don't do it. Do you like to walk around a cemetery or a graveyard? Do you? Superstition is the next vocabulary word. Superstition. What is superstition? Superstition are beliefs or practices that are thought to bring good 
and bad luck. You know, don't walk under a ladder. It'll give you bad luck. Don't step on a crack. It'll break your mother's back. Those are superstitions. Many people have superstitions about black cats. I don't know. I had a black cat and I love the black cat. Do you have any superstitions? Do you? What is your superstition? A mummy. A mummy? Yeah. Now, I know some people use mummy for the meaning of a mother, like, hello, mummy. But for Halloween, a mummy is a preserved body wrapped in cloth, seen in ancient Egypt and often seen in Halloween decorations and celebrations. The children dress as mummies when they go to go trick or treating. Look, they're dressed as mummies. Another easy costume to put together for trick or treat. Ooh, we got a lot of vocabulary words in there. Our next word is monster. A monster, yeah, a monster is a frightening large creature. They're usually big and scary. But this monster is not scary at all. And the movie Monsters, Inc. made a lot of monsters very lovable. Children often think there is a monster under their bed. But if this monster were under my bed, that would be okay. Do you believe in monsters? Do you? Monsters can be creepy. Yeah, creepy. Creepy is an adjective, and it means an eerie, scary feeling. This doll is creepy, very creepy, creepy. It's a fun word to say. Things that are scary or kind of gross or make you go, eek, can be called creepy, like this doll. It's very creepy. Can you make a sentence with the word creepy? The last word is ghoul. Ghoul. Wait, it looks like gowl, but it's not. It's pronounced ghoul. Make the ooh. Got it? The G-H is a hard G. Ghoul. What's a ghoul? A ghoul is an evil spirit or demon. You will often find a ghoul in a haunted house or walking around in a cemetery or graveyard. Ghouls are often seen eating people in movies. Yes, a ghoul, it's an evil spirit or demon. Have you ever seen a ghoul? I hope not. There you have it, my friends. A lot of vocabulary words to help you celebrate Halloween. You can go out and trick or treat, put on a costume. You could go as a witch, a mummy, a ghoul, or a monster. Which would you like to dress up as? Which costume will you use? Do you want to go to a haunted house? Do you have superstitions? Maybe if you dress as a witch or a wizard, you will need to bring your wand. Along the way, I hope you don't run into any goblins. I think I've used all the vocabulary words. So now you practice, use the words in your conversations, go out and have a howling good time. My name is SL Rockfish. And if you like what you see, hit subscribe friend. And if you're like, hey, wait, I can't remember those words. Rewind and watch again. Get a little notebook out. It's easy. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace, friends.